Hello, this is Daniel Slutsky. Here we have a short status report for the certain problem that some of us care about these days in the closure ecosystem. It is related to the new visual tools group. You see in the new Cyclosh website, you can see the different dev groups and study groups. And one of them is the visual tools group where different authors, creators, maintainers or closure tooling projects can meet and collaborate and share experiences and hopes and problems. And the problem we hope to discuss now is the problem of compatibility. Could we have some way to compose different tools to specify things on the user side that would just work in different tools? Well, the tools we have in mind are those different amazing closure tools for literate programming and data visualization. You can see some of them mentioned here in this list, but there are, of course, more. And uh, one thing we have here in this group is this repo where we started sharing tiny experiments uh, of uh, what we hope to discover and explore. And one of them is this portal clear kindly and rapid experiment that we discuss now, which is exactly uh, this kind of experiment, which is trying to compose different tools in some harmony. And maybe you know uh, Portal, this amazing tool for uh, data navigation, exploration, visualization, and Clerk, this uh, very dynamic way of literate programming, of creating visual documents. Uh, maybe less known is Kindly, which is part of the Notespace project. Kindly is about specifying kinds of things, which means speci specifying what kind of visual uh, uh, view we hope to have for a given thing. And, and REPL, which is this protocol that connects different closure tools to closure runtimes or other runtimes, actually. And here we will try to connect all of them. And maybe the less known part, kindly, is something that could be a bit surprising. And we're actually not depending on it here. We're actually containing a self-contained, self-contained adapted version of it so that it would be very much clear and simple to see what we are doing. And in a moment, we'll talk about why we care about this hope for harmony between different tools. Um, and if you see, what we will do is to demonstrate that we could have one piece of code written in Clojure that could be made visual in both Clerk and Portal in a compatible way so that a user would be able to take a clerk document and just use the code to explore in portal. And, and we have this walkthrough rendered in clerk. And, and I think we'll go through it and then we'll have a live demo uh, kind of demonstrating how things behave. So here's the statement of the problem. And the problem is this amazing diversity of tools. And you see, we collected here a few closure and visual notebooks of different flavors that um, allow us to document things uh, in, in a visual way. For example, this recent uh, color tutorial by our friend Tomas. Um, which is written in Clerk. Let us also see the source code. So here is uh, the rendering that we open in a moment. Maybe first let us see the source code. So you see, it is depending on uh, some a custom Clerk function that Tomas added, which is has this nice symbol for it. And this way we can say, please render a center a certain color, right? So. 
this function is specific to the tooling we're using here and a user picking this uh, piece of code would have to use Clerk and actually this custom function for things to work. And you see, it is an amazing tutorial. It is simply beautiful. Uh, and it has the, those uh, really amazing color ideas and also those uh, dynamic plots. And yeah, you should look into it. But we want to be able to create such beautiful documents and others in a way that users would be able to just pick them and use them in whatever tool they like. And each of these documents in this list actually has its own differences about notation, about how things are specified. And we hope to create some thin layer of compatibility. So that's the statement of the problem. And I think maybe unlike our big hopes for the, for the future, this problem, this tiny problem is something that we hope to solve in the short term because we want to be able to create more and more documents in a way that will help the ecosystem grow in, a, in an actually usable and accessible way. So I hope that is clear and I would love to discuss it more, but um, that is what we are caring about now. And what we're having here is, is just a tiny proof of concept uh, of this, uh, of a, what a possible solution could look like. And it is not trying to be complete. It is just trying to provoke a discussion, right? And, and we will use some ideas we have been using in node space, another tool for literate programming and dynamic exploration. And node space, they depend on kindly for specifying the kinds of visualizations to be used. And here we are not using any of them, just copying and adapting some parts of their codes for things to be very much self-contained. And we're also relying on NREPL, this protocol where different pieces of tools can, can communicate with the runtime like where we evaluate code. And we have this concept of an NREPL middleware that allows to adapt the uh, NREPL, the behavior of your NREPL stack. And here we're using it to just listen, listen to code evaluations of the user so that we could inform Portal about them. And so let, let us, first go and see how things look in Clerk. I'm skipping the setup a little bit. We'll later have the, the live demo, but you see, we have this function that does some setup to adapt the behavior of Clerk to render things um, in a way that we like. And Clerk is very much customizable and flexible. So it allows us to do that. And we are doing something similar in Portal before sending, uh, before submitting values to be visualized in Portal. And that is kind of happening behind this uh, pipeline start function. And so here, how can we specify the kind of visualization to be used? So one way to do it is uh, this kindly consider uh, API that says, here, take this value and please kindly consider it as something of this kind. So in this example, this vector is to be considered as a hiccup format. What this call to consider does is just adding some metadata. It does not change the value. So we could keep processing our vectors, or our hiccup structures, but we're just considering them to be viewed this way. So you see, it worked, right? It worked in Clerk. It was supposed to show a small hello, and it does. Another way to specify the kind of thing is not by attaching metadata to the value, as we did here, but by attaching metadata to the code. And I'm mentioning it here because it is something we have been enjoying in Node Space, for example. And at the moment, I couldn't get it right in Clerk. 
it wouldn't work in our tools and maybe it is a reason to not make it part of our desired compatibility layer. So you see, it is not working at the moment. Uh, but I did want to mention it and it, we will see it working in portal. And since we are provoking a discussion that is part of the discussion we hope to provoke. And another way to specify the kind of visualization is a protocol called kindness. And yeah, you see, kindness is just this very simple protocol that asks what kind of thing are you? And so, for example, we could extend this protocol by this type, this famous type of a closure var. We all have our closure vars that we are creating or uh, consuming from closure libraries. And we could uh, uh, say that closure vars are of kind var. And then we could define a kind behavior for this kind of thing we just invented. And here is how we're specifying the kind behavior by specifying certain, this uh, certain layer of, of uh, behavior for each relevant tool. And both Clerk and Portal are so friendly in how they allow us to specify these things. And so you see, we just want to see not only the name of the VAR, but also the documentation, if it has one. And let us test it. So here is our famous var reduced from the closure standard library. And here it is rendered now in Clerk as we defined. Right? So just another way to, of defining kinds of things. So to recap, we like to define kinds of things and we can do it by metadata or by protocol. And we can define behaviors of tools for those certain kinds. And maybe let us look into a few other examples that we like. One of them is delays. Uh, you know, in Clojure, we have this concept of delay, this macro that takes a piece of code. And what it does is not to evaluate it yet. It says, yeah, I know you, you de define a certain thing that could be evaluated, but I'm not doing it yet. You could ask for it to be done, but if you don't ask, then I don't do it. And then we, some of us like delays as a way of inserting the exploration code into our closure namespaces. And having this code would not make our namespaces slow, even if evaluating the code would be slow because the delay doesn't evaluate it. But typically, if we render the document, the visual document, uh, documenting our flow, then we would like them to be uh, dereferenced, as they call it. We would like the thing to be evaluated. And so our thin layer of compatibility does that here. It asks Clerk to please dereference so that we would see the value of the delay. And it does a similar thing with portal when uh, submitting the values to portal. So we would have this ability to explore things without making our whole um, namespace loading slow. And another thing that both portal and clerk support is nesting of different viewers. And here we just see that we can do it. So for example, we're defining something of kind Vega Light, this data visualization format. And then we are creating a few of these and collecting them into something of kind uh, Hiccup, which is this way of generating HTML. So we can nest things and we will later see it working not only in Clerk, but also in Portal. And yeah, another thing that some of us like to render visually is unit tests. So uh, here we have this kindly check function that is something we've been using for so-called literate testing or testable uh, do documentation, uh, one may say. Uh, we have been using it in the past and 
here we have this function that allows to check something and it creates something of a certain kind called, called kind check so that our tools can know to render it appropriately so as one would like to see it, a test, right? And we are planning to hopefully connect this to a certain uh, doc test, as they call it, a doc test workflow where your document could be uh, converted to, into unit tests. And uh, that is one of our hopes for, for the emerging stack of tooling we're imagining. And yeah, so, so th that was a walkthrough and now let us see it happening in code. Here we have our closure namespace open in Calva, and that is just the namespace that was used to generate the document that we have seen. And we will now play with it dynamically. Um, okay, so uh, you see there is some setup here, and we will begin by um, starting the REPL. And we we need to uh, have this alias to a certain setup that makes the nREPL middleware work. And uh, Calva offer this nice, offers this nice way of asking us what aliases to use when running the REPL. So you see it is here using this uh, dedicated alias that we created to make sure the middleware works so that our process would be able to listen to our code evaluations. And okay, so we got our wrapper and now we can evaluate things. So first let us evaluate the whole namespace. We're loading the whole namespace and as a side effect, we got the portal uh, window open. By the way, uh, maybe you know, you can, uh, uh, have the portal window inside Calva. We are not doing it here now, but it's very much doable and beautiful. And yeah, so so let us see what we have here. So uh, maybe I'll not bore you so much with the setup when you, we have some useful uh, uh, workflow function calls for both portal and clerk here. Um, and let us just play with portal. So you see, maybe you remember, we did specify the kind of thing here using kindly consider. Let's see if it works in portal. Right, so it does. And we have this small hello rendered, right? And this other way of specifying metadata does work as well, right? Even though we might not want to use it because we don't know how to make it work in clear. And this rendering of a var using the protocol that we have seen in Clerk, it does work too, right? And what about delays? Yeah, so a little bit delay because we made it slow. Uh, this one too. So yeah, things are working. And also this nested nested structure, it does work, right? So, and you see, it is not looking exactly the same as the Clerk, of course, there are those different aesthetics. And that makes sense, I guess, but uh, it is essentially the same. And that means that a user could pick this clerk document and explore it in portal, which is the point of this whole uh, exploration. Uh, what about unit tests? Uh, yeah, so maybe we clear it a little bit. Uh, so yeah, unit tests work too. And so yeah, we, we have achieved this tiny proof of concept that we hoped for. And now I guess uh, what should happen now, uh, I guess what we hope for is to have some dialogue. We hope we could maybe have some common understanding of what we're wishing for so that we could create an actual layer that makes sense and allows us to create beautiful visual documents and uh, share them so that users would be able to use them seamlessly without changing anything about how they are written. That's the hope and that's the problem. And maybe as we may have said, 
unlike our big hopes and amazing ideas that some visual tools offered, offer, this one, I think, is a problem of the short term. It is something that we actually need to solve really soon because we hope to create those documents. Any feedback would help. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, please also consider joining our visual tools group because, uh, you know, uh, having you in those discussions would um, help us in this uh, thinking process. Many other amazing things are happening there. Uh, this one is the most boring one, in a sense. Really, uh, I'm amazed by the beautiful ideas that the uh, tool creators are bringing and are the other friends in this group who are so helpful and creative. And uh, I think you would enjoy it. So please join us and take care.